Abdulrahman. I'm a lecturer at a public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we talked about input-output statement, and basically we discussed the printf syntax and the scanf syntax. In today's lessons, we are going to answer ourselves what is a data type. And into that particular journey, we are going to uh, get up the definition of a data type, the syntax of a data type, and the classification of a data type. So let's start and see actually what is a, uh, what is a data type. So basically when we want to say what's a data type, it is actually a representation. Actually data type, it is actually a representation. of information into memory uh, of what a variable or identifier. We have seen that an identifier can be actually a variable or can be a function in our last lesson. So it's a representation of that particular variable into memory. And what does it represent? It represents basically two things. It represents uh, two things. The type of data. So it represents the type of data of that particular variable and also it represents the size of memory or the memory which is required into it. So basically if we have a memory and we have declared a particular variable called A, so this particular variable A, what type is it? Now, how much space does it take up of that? So, basically, we are saying, if you're talking about data types, we had seen that in our, in our last lessons about the former specifier. And we talked about former specifier, uh, such as uh, percentage D, uh, the amend for a particular data type. So, here, we are talking about the type can be Example, like a character. Example can be like an integer. Our example can be like a double. So let's take these three examples. So, uh, but this is not enough. We are told, so a data type, we want to know if this is a character, how many, how much space does it take? So basically, all characters, they will take up one byte. One byte. An integer basically will take up around 4 bytes in C programming and a double will take about 8 bytes in C programming. So basically, a data type is just a representation of what? Of a variable and what does it represent? Two things, the type, the data type and the size which it holds up into memory. So if we are saying actually int A, equals to 10. So we are saying what type of data type it is this? It is an integer. So here it will actually hold inside here 10 and the maximum value for this will be actually 4 bytes. So that is uh, what we say uh, uh, what we said it is uh, a data type. So uh, let's go to the second part of it. The second part of it to ask you what is the syntax? What is the syntax? The syntax of a data type. Basically, there are two types of syntax to be written up. Actually, we are writing here, first of all, the syntax of a data type, it is, a, first of all, the data type, the other identifier. So, the syntax is very simple. Data type and identifier. So, here, maybe data type, it is an integer. Identifier, uh, it can be anything, let's say it is some, um, and then we terminate. So that is one way of writing it. Another way is data type, identifier equals to a value. So here I can say int sum equals to 10. So basically, I have these other two ways of the syntax of a data type we are making up onto that particular area. So, and then let's go now 
what are the types of the classification what are the classification of uh, data types uh, of the data types basically the classification of a data type can actually be divided into three so the first one uh, basically we are talking about the primitive data type the primitive data types and uh, the second one we are talking about the derived data types and the last one we are talking about the user defined data type the user defined data types so let's see what are these uh, primitive data types already we have seen them in a previous, uh, previous uh, programs this can be something like a char can be something like an integer and can be something like a double and there are so many of them but we're giving up a, a few examples what about the derived uh, data types these derived data types can be something like they are derived from the primitive string there can be something like an array and can be something like pointers so these are the derived data type what about user defined data types user defined data types example they are structures they are unions and they are enum so these two of them we're going to discuss them in our uh, in our uh, advanced levels the derive and the user type but uh, uh, in this particular lesson for beginners we're going to talk about uh, the primitive one the character the integer the double and the flop uh, and the uh, floats and so many of them so let's see how uh, we can implement this in C programming. Basically, uh, let's see how the syntax looks like. So, if I say int sum, that is one way I actually I can actually define. So, let's take for example, I'm saying up an int uh, int sum, uh, and then I am saying up int a equals to uh, ten, and then I'm saying int b equals to 20 now what do i want to do i want uh, to get up the sum of the two numbers so here we have seen that we have declare uh, them both uh, with and without and here basically i can say sum equals to a plus b and then i can use up a print f to print up my sum so i'll say my print f remember we talked it in our last lesson we have to have here a format specifier of that particular one so here i can say uh, print f the sum is then i put up my uh, specifier that is percentage d and then i put up my variable name which i want to display that is sum so when i run this particular program should tell me the sum is 30 so that is basically uh, how we can actually do it so let's uh, uh, again here uh, there's a mistake i just wrote print but not print f so i put up an f there i execute it back again so i can say okay basically here here it is the answer and actually select the sum it is actually 30. so thank you for listening uh, for uh, this particular lesson in our next lesson we are going to continue on the data types and please remember to subscribe uh, for more videos to come thank you